Hi, Hi Hawk Nation. Nation. This is Maddie. And this is Sara. And, and this, this is, is your weekly Harper Athletics, Athletics recap. recap. To start off the week, the women's golf team closed out the Boston College Intercollegiate. The team finished with a score of 986 strokes, with sophomore Lily Moreau finishing with five birdies. The Hartford women's soccer team has extended its unbeaten streak by seven games after its two-game weekend against Chicago State. Junior Armani Jenkins scored two goals, while goalkeeper Abigail McCarthy posted a third clean sheet on Friday with a 4-0 victory. Hartford capped off the sweep Sunday, defeating the Cougars with a score of 3-1. The team is back in action on Wednesday for a midweek matchup at Vermont. The Hartford women's volleyball team started the week with a 5 sets victory against the Stonehill Skyhawks at its home opener. The Hawks dominated in the first set, took a loss on the second two, but came back and won the fifth set for the victory. The Hawks hit the road on Sunday to take on the Sacred Heart Pioneers, where they took a 3-0 loss. The team enters the week with a game on Friday, ready to continue their win streak at home as they take on Smith College. Men's golf teed off at the 46th annual McDonald's Cup at Yale, where they finished 10th overall. Manuel Romero led the team with seven birdies, finishing in 25th, and his teammate Connor Byrne was not far behind, finishing in 34th. Men's golf seeks to continue their success as they head to the UConn Invitational this week. The men's soccer team headed to Vermont, New York, where they sought to continue a five-match win streak against the Bimington Bearcats. Junior midfielder Dario Cavara was able to score the lone goal for the Hawks after seven shots on goal. And while the Hawks managed to make an amazing seven saves out of 15 shots on goal, eight balls got away, leading the Bearcats to their first victory against the Hawks since 2019. Cross Country toes the line next Friday as they head to High Point, North Carolina, where they will compete in the Vercross Invitational. Make sure you check in next week for more sports recaps.